We do thank you for joining us this evening. Voters turned out in droves across South Carolina. And though there were some minor hiccups with voting machines that didn't curb the excited voters out there, we have team coverage tonight of the midterm elections. One of the hottest races statewide was for governor, and the incumbent, Henry McMaster, has been declared the winner. We begin team coverage right now with our Ben Hoover, who's at the McMaster Watch Party in Columbia, where we just heard from the governor. Ben. That's right, Amy and Tom, we just heard from Governor McMaster. He just left the stage just within the last minute. He spoke for less than 10 minutes here tonight, uh, talking about uh, the prosperity that he says that the state of South Carolina will see under his leadership in the governor's office. He is 71 years old. He is the oldest uh, elected governor in the state of South Carolina. He assumed the, the position as governor back in January 2017, you'll remember when Nikki Haley resigned the office because President Trump had named her to the United Nations as the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Uh, he's been Lieutenant Governor here in the state of South Carolina. He's been the Attorney General and he's been the head of the SCGOP. Uh, the, that was years ago, but tonight he is your Governor-elect here in South Carolina. Before Governor McMaster took the stage, we heard from his running mate, Lieutenant Governor Pam Evett. Uh, she is the first elected under the dual ticket as lieutenant governor here in the state of South Carolina. Of course, she has that big upstate connection. Uh, she is a business owner from based in Traveler's Rest. Uh, they just wrapped up a big 16-stop uh, bus tour across the state of South Carolina for five days where they were touting uh, four more years of conservative reforms, more good-paying jobs, and economic growth. In fact, the crowd here tonight was chanting four more years. Uh, we heard from his opponent earlier tonight, James Smith. We have Georgery Godfrey. She'll bring you the latest from there. But uh, just a, a, a moment ago, Governor McMaster wrapped up his, his victory speech. We have a little bit of that sound. We'll listen to that now. Go. As your governor, I know I must stand two or three inches a little bit taller just because I'm so proud to be representing the people of South Carolina. And I'm thrilled to have the chance to do it for four more years. That was just moments ago here at the downtown Hilton. Uh, governor McMaster with his victory speech here tonight. Reporting live in Columbia, Ben Hoover, 7 News. You know, Ben, the big historic part of this new administration with this team in place is that we will have a lieutenant governor and a governor working together as a team. What about that? We heard a little bit about that tonight uh, from Pam Evett again, who's from Traveler's Rest. Uh, they spoke a little bit about that. that that's that been the big history, uh, the big historic part of what they've been talking about tonight with this election. Amy? Ben Hoover live tonight. Thank you. Now, state lawmaker and Democrat James Smith tried to wrestle power from Governor Henry McMaster. Smith, a 51-year-old uh, combat veteran, fought in Afghanistan, ran for increasing the pay for teachers, wanted to expand Medicaid in the state, but the message did not resonate with voters tonight. We heard from him live just uh, a little while ago. 7 News' Georgia Reed Godfrey is joining us live from his watch party in Columbia. Georgia Reed. That's right. The crowd here was fired up and optimistic that James Smith's name would be added to the rest of the Democratic winners across the nation tonight. But unfortunately, that was not the case. But despite losing, James Smith and his lieutenant governor candidate, Mandy Norell, presented a speech of optimism and encouragement and thanked their supporters for the work they've done so far in this campaign. Now, Smith made his platform very clear early on, talking about health care and expanding Medicaid, improving salaries for teachers, and of course, initiating some common sense gun laws. Now, despite Smith's losing tonight, he did take the chance to thank Governor Henry McMaster for what he's done so far for the state and congratulate him on his 118th term as governor of South Carolina. Now, Smith says there's still left, there's still some work, excuse me, left to be done. We have to do this. All of us have to do this. We have to do everything we can to leave South Carolina better than we found it. We made great strides in doing that this time and raised issues that were so important that we're going to keep focused on over the next four years. God bless you all. God bless South Carolina. 
Now, Smith did talk about some of the success they had during this campaign, which included out raising more money than Governor Henry McMaster in the last quarter. Now, the last time the State House has had a Democratic governor was in 1999 when Jim Hodges was selected to the seat. The Democratic Party will now have to wait another five, four years, excuse me, to try their chance at the State House again. In Columbia, Georgia Reed Godfrey, 7 News. So, Georgia Reed, James Smith uh, served in the legislature for 22 years before running for governor. Does he return to the legislature or is his career in state government for now over? As of right now, that is unclear, but he joked at the podium that he would be returning back to the Root Doctors, which is the band that he plays in, saying that will now be his full-time job. But do remember that he is a practicing attorney here in Columbia, so he'll always have some employment, even if it's not in the State House. All right, Georgia Reed, thank you for that.